Hey boys and girls, it's Miss Meg here from the YMCA Nutrition Program, and today I'm going to read you the story, Yum Mmm, K. Rico, a haiku by Pat Mora. This book comes from the Healthy Schools, Healthy Communities curriculum written by the Michigan Fitness Foundation. What is the difference between a fruit and a vegetable? What are some examples of whole grain foods? Why do you think it's important to eat a variety of fruits, vegetables, whole grain foods, and low-fat dairy every day? How do we know if something is a low-fat dairy? Let's read this book to find out. Blueberry. Fill your mouth with blue. Share a bowl heaped with summer. Chew indigo. Blueberries are delicious, healthy treats originating in North America. They were eaten fresh and dried by Native Americans. They also ground blueberries into spice rubs and used the blueberries in medicines. European settlers in North America made gray paint by boiling blueberries in milk. And today the United States is the largest producer of blueberries in the world. Wild blueberries, the official state berry of Maine, are sometimes harvested by using handheld rakes. Plan a bit blueberry party in July, which is National Blueberry Month. Chile, dad bites green mouth fire, laughs when tears fill his eyes, sighs. Mmm, this heat tastes so good. Chili peppers probably began their world journey in Mexico and are still used as a favorite spice and seasoning throughout the Americas. Called Chile in natural, the language of the Aztecs and one of the original languages of Mexico. The word became Chile in Spanish and Chile in English. Chilies came in a variety of shapes and colors and ranged from mild to extremely hot. Because the heat in chilies makes us perspire, chilies are like an internal air conditioner. After they make us feel hot, they cool us off. Chocolate, fudge, cake, pie, cookies, brown magic melts on your tongue. Happy, your eyes dance. Chocolate is native to Central or South America, although the exact origin of this popular food is often debated. Chocolate is made from the seeds in the pods of the tropical cocoa tree. The word chocolate comes from the natural word chocolate, which is mi means bitter water. The Aztecs roasted cocoa seeds, ground them, and mixed them with water and seasonings to make a spicy drink. The pods were so highly prized, they were even used as money. Yes, money grew on trees. Corn, leaf sprouts, silk snug house. Smells grits, tortillas, cornbread. Pass the butter, please. Corn, also called maize, is a member of the cereal family. Its ancient ancestor is the wild Mexican grass called teostine, which is, means God's corn. This wild corn was eventually domesticated and became a staple of many people's diets. Pueblo Indians in the southwestern United States planted corn of various colors, including blue, and corn is still offered in blessings at traditional Native American ceremonies. Today, the starch from corn kernels is used as a binder to help crayons and chalk hold together. Cranberry, marsh floating, hard bead simmers then, pops, and a hot pot, scarlet fireworks. Cranberries are tart, tart fall fruits. They may be native to Wisconsin, where about half of the United States crops grow on woody training vines in sandy marshes or bogs. The berries were used by Native Americans for food, dyes, and medicine. Some say they were called cranberries because the cranes like to slosh through the bogs looking for bright red snacks. Others say they were called cranberries because their pink spring flowers look like a crane's head. These fruits were also called bear berries and bounce berries. Can you guess why? Papaya, chewing your perfume, we taste your leafy jungle. Yum, juicy tropics. Papayas, also known as tree melons, are believed to have originated in southern Mexico and Central America. Now they are grown throughout the tropical and subtropical areas of the world. Papayas are hollow with small, wrinkled black seeds in the center. Papain, found in the milky fluid of the unripe papayas, is used in several products, including meat tenderizers and some medicines. When ripe, the fruit is juicy and sweet. Shaped somewhat like a pear, a papaya can weigh as much as 20 pounds. Peanut. Smear nutty butter than jelly. Gooey party, my sandwich and me. Peanuts, or ground nuts, are from South America, possibly Peru or Brazil. Peanuts are not really nuts. Like beans and peas, they are legumes. Plants that absorb nitrogen enrich the soil. 
African-American botanist and inventor George Washington Carver developed more than 300 uses for peanuts. In the United States, 600 million pounds of peanuts and 700 million pounds of peanut butter are eaten each year. In March, National Peanut Month, enjoy nibbling peanuts mixed with dried fruits. Pecan. We crack hard brown shells. Family munching. Story time. Crunchy tastes of fall. Pecans grow on large trees native to Texas and northern Mexico. The pecan is the state tree of Texas, and there are almost a million acres of pecan trees along the state's rivers and streams. French settlers in North America named the tasty nut pecan, which meant nut to be cracked with a rock. The nuts were originally harvested by throwing sticks into the trees to knock the nuts to the ground. Pecan pie is a traditional southwestern U.S. dessert. Pineapple, a stiff, spicky hat on thin, thick, prickly skin inside high syrup rings. Pineapple is a tropical fruit that originated in Paraguay and southern Brazil. Today, it is the leading fruit crop of Puerto Rico, although Hawaiian pineapples are also prized for their delicious flavor. Pineapples are bromelads. They have stiff, overlapping, waxy leaves that catch and hold water. Called piña in Spanish, which means pine cone, the pineapple has skin that indeed resembles a very large pine cone. Hotels and inns sometimes decorate with pineapples, pineapple shapes because this fruit is a symbol of hospitality. A potato, underground magic, peel brown bundle, mash pile high, salt and pepper clouds. Potatoes are native to the Andean mountains of Peru, Bolivia, and Ecuador in South America. The Amar Amar Amari Indians of Bolivia develop more than 200 varieties of potatoes, and the Indians of Peru have more than 200 names for their varieties. Known as papas in Spanish, potatoes are the world's fourth food staple, after wheat, corn, and rice. Potatoes are nutritious and can be red, purple, pink, yellow, and even striped. In 1995, potatoes became the first vegetable grown in outer space. Prickly pear. Red desert wonder, cactus fruit becomes syrup, and dulces. Surprise! Prickly pear cactus may have come from Mexico, although their exact origin is unknown. Native Americans of the southwestern United States are raw, cooked, and dried prickly pears. The fleshy green pads, known as naples in Spanish, are modified stems or branches, not leaves. They can be served as vegetable, like green beans, once the needles and skin are carefully removed and the pads are sliced. The red fruits, called tunas in Spanish, are tricky to harvest. They are used to make juice, jams, and candy. Pumpkin. Under round luna, scattered tumblings down the rows, autumn's orange face. Pumpkins are native to Central America. They belong to the plant family that includes cucumbers, melons, and squash. The word pumpkin comes from the Greek word pepon, which means large melon. Native Americans wove mats of dried pumpkin strips and roasted pumpkin seeds to eat. Pumpkin was once believed to remove freckles and cure snake bites. The majority of pumpkins sold in the United States today are used for decorations, including Halloween jack-o'-lanterns. As of 2006, the largest pumpkin grown in weighed 1,502 pounds. Wow. Tomato, round roly-poly, squirrely, Squirt seeds, juicy splatter, red bursts in your mouth. Tomatoes probably originated in Peru or Mexico. They are eaten as a vegetable, but they are technically fruits. In 1893, the United States Supreme Court ruled since tomatoes were commonly used as a vegetable, they should be subject to the government's tax on imported vegetables. Once considered poisonous, tomatoes are now one of the world's most prized foods. They come in many colors, including red, yellow, orange, green, purple, and white. Can you imagine pizza without tomato sauce or tacos without tomato salsa? Vanilla. Quick, lick white river running down the cone, cooling your warm summer laugh. Vanilla, native to Mexico and other tropical areas of the Americas, comes from the fruit or a vine in the orchard family. The fruit is a long pod called a vanilla bean that is filled with a tiny black seed. The Totonic Indians in Mexico discovered how to process vanilla pods and use vanilla as perfume, flavoring, medicines, and insect repellent. Today, the United States is the world's largest consumer of vanilla, mostly in foods and beverages. July is National Ice Cream Month, 
And the most popular flavor, vanilla, of course. The end. So what are some of the different foods that we mentioned in this book? What did you notice about your group of food preferences? Were any of them mentioned in here? How many food groups were represented in this book? And which food groups are missing? I hope you enjoyed some of the facts about these foods that we like to eat. Have a great day, boys and girls.